where two of you go in. And then I can do it like that, like if my voice just goes into it, but I have to have like a certain phrase to bring me out into it. Can you just imagine if like I said something totally ridiculous? I, I, I can't even do it now, I'm losing my touch of things. I think it's right, but I, I, when I'm gonna play it back it's gonna sound totally not well. Hi everyone, it's Emma from Lux on here again, looking beautiful as always. So today I'm gonna be filming a get ready with me video more like an evening kind of look, I'm not going out out, I can't actually leave my house anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to look really good in the living room, um, so it's not going to be a tutorial as such, um, but if you would like me to do a tutorial on my evening out out look, then leave a comment below and I can do one of those for you. So I'm just going to, you know, talk to you guys as I get ready, show you some of the products I use, how I do my own makeup. It's very different from how I do a client's makeup, so I hope you enjoy. And I'm sorry that like this, like I always say, I come on camera looking terrible, and this time I have no nails. <laughs> so this is my sister's um, dressing room because I am living at her house currently. Um, with the whole coronavirus pandemic thing, um, I'm not at home anymore, so currently at my sister's house for a little bit until this all blows over. So I don't really have everything I usually would with me, but I got a little care package from Abby with some bits and bobs so I can show you guys roughly um, what I do. So I hope you enjoy the video and keep watching so you'll see my own little transformation on myself. I'm going to start controversially with my base. Usually in the studio we do clients eyebrows and eyes first just because obviously we rest on people's faces a little bit and don't want to ruin all of our hard work. Um, but I personally find when you do your own makeup you have a little bit more control um, So I prefer to do my base first and then my eyes. I'm going to use the Ordinary Primer <laughs> And it's the back of it <laughs> You just if you wanted to see the ingredients guys who can you up right here? Um, I have only been using this for a little while um, Sometimes I totally forget to use primer. I'm terrible with my own makeup Absolutely terrible as you probably will see because it's been a while since I've done it um, but I'm just going to go ahead and put this on first. Um, next thing I'm going to go in with is going to be MAC Studio Fix NC15. We use this in the studio a lot um, and I really like it. Especially when I'm going out because it's got the nice type of coverage that I like. Pretty full. Um, and I'm going to use a spatula and a Luxe Blender because this is my own. <laughs> I usually have about six that I rotate and wash and stuff. Um, but times are hard as you know. And um, so this one I used yesterday, that's why it's a little bit dirty, I'm really sorry, please forgive me. I always come off so bad in these videos, I need to be prepared more. I need to be a real YouTuber where everything's been clean and sparkly and fresh. Anyway, I'm going to go and pop this on my face. I'm a, a little bit worried this is going to be a little too orange for me because, you know, been inside for a while, so a little bit pasty. My skin doesn't hold a tan very well, so I'm just going to... Beat this in, do my face. I assume this is where the term beat your face comes from, you know. Also, it's kind of weird talking to myself out loud doing my makeup because um, I usually just think it. So yeah, just real beating this in, pushing the product into the skin. Um, always get the ears into the neck and blend it a little bit. Because, <laughs> This is what entertainment's come to nowadays, just... Do you remember when you were little and you'd have a fan and you'd talk into it and it would make your voice all robotic? Dash me right now. So yeah, I'm just going to make sure this is all blending in nicely. Then we're going to do my favourite part. It's concealer, which you already... This is, looks terrible so far, guys. I'm really trying here. Bear with. Okay, so the foundation is on. The key to remember is really push the product into your skin. Don't smear, which some people have a tendency to do. Um, I used to. Um, but you really want to dab push it in, that really makes it look flawless. So when I go ahead with um, concealer, I'm going to be using the EX1 Delete Fluid. Um, this is in shade number one. Um, a little bit too tan for me because I'm so wet. Look at this. <laughs> um, so I've mixed it with a little bit of my collection one which is in number one fair because that is what I am. I'm gonna apply this with a brush. I like my concealer to be quite light because I like a highlighting effect and I like my under eyes to be quite bright. Um I guess in a book of rules 
they say to go uh, one shade lighter than your actual foundation and then two if you want like a highlighting effect but you do you boo this is, this is what I'm doing for me now and then I'm going to do a little upside down triangle strap down the nose filter out under chin and then I like to do a little bit across the jawline to give it a bit more of a sculpted effect and then I'm going to just blend this in Again, same method as the foundation, I'm just pummeling that in, covering up those bags, or trying. This is where I think you look a little bit crazy because you look like an egg and then you're trying to paint your features back in. And then obviously your lips disappear on it. Oh guys, be peat tongue. I think sometimes this is where people give up because they're like, this is, this is just not looking good. And it will. You just, you just have to get there, you know. Next, we're gonna do the brows. I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And I often find mine is a little bit hard because I've had it for so long. So what I then do is I get some MAC Prep and Prime. Just give it a little spray and it moistens it up and it just makes it easier to apply. Just go ahead and do some stroke. I do like my brows to be a little bit defined, you know, to match my hair. I'm looking at it like a <laughs> Great, we're gonna make the best of it guys and I'm glad you're here with me. Hey Louise, base on, we use this all the time on clients. It's probably our go-to product. This is what you need. I use it in Rima too. And I'm gonna get a flat brush, which is a Zoeva, Zoeva? Soft concealer brush, you can, get, you can get any. There's a really good MAC one. Um, that Abby has, but it's an oldie, so I don't make it anymore. And every time I have a chance to use her brushes, I'm I dive in for that. Um, haven't stole it because I'm a good person. Uh, but what is that? Shh. I'm gonna go underneath, and I'm just gonna do a line. I'm just gonna do a line, basically. So I'm just gonna carve. I start at the front of the brow, and this is really good if you ever. Um, mess up. Just gonna then drag the product down right to the root of my lashes. And I'm gonna get the same brush I use my concealer with because you know slim pickings here I don't have all my brushes. I don't have as many as I have for clients actually. Um, and I'm just gonna literally dab on my eye. So it's a kind of like a patting motion. You can do it with the same brush, but I like to use one with not a lot of product on. So it kind of makes it sticky. It basically gives something for the eyeshadow to grip to. Some people just do this and then go out because obviously it brightens up their face and obviously the brows like me and it, you know, it really defines them is the word I'm looking for. This is going to be like try and learn English with me because this is my first language, my own language, and I don't speak it very well. Because you are doing your own face, usually when we um, do clients, people have their eyes closed, usually. Um, but you, obviously you will be opening your eyes a little bit, so you will get little creases. So before you put your eyeshadow on, just pat over it again. Motion, I do blur out, obviously, the sides, so you don't get like a sharp line, because I personally do not like that. So I've just got a fluffy brush in the colour Fade of the Carnival XL palette. And I am just going to go and little circles in my crease. Get that product on. Just pat it over again where I've been opening my eyes and there's little creases. That's a privilege because when I get ready, I don't usually allow anyone in the room to distract the artist from her work. Okay, so I want to do my makeup. I'm like, focus. I'm gonna get a little darker color and I'm just gonna tap it on in the outer corners. And then I'm gonna get a flat brush and use Inspire and I'm just gonna dab that about three quarters away on my lid. I'm not gonna cut my crease or anything crazy. Just gonna pop this on. You don't want to move your brush too much. It. and then that way you'll get this full out as well for some inner corner highlight this is the best it's literally four pound 
and just literally dab it in and that will go on my inner corners and my brow bone. Just gel it up a little bit. Some people do this after with their highlight. But like I always say, there's no rules to makeup. You do whatever order you want. I'm just going to put on some mascara and then we'll do some lashes and then it all kind of slowly starts to come together. So I've just put some shadow, uh, same ones from the top, just the two dark colours underneath my eyes and my eyeliner on, a little bit of mascara. It does look a little bit crazy because my hair's not done, my lipstick's not on and I'm just like, oh, these dull eyes. I'm now just going to take a pencil eyeliner um, on the top of my eyes and then I'm going to smoke it out with a dark brown shadow. And then just pat over where I've been with the pencil. Again, it just darkens it up and it will set the um, pencil liner in place. So I'm just going to go in with a dark brown. And I'm kind of going to go like half on, half off and just smudge it out. I don't even have a little pencil brush in me, so I'm just going to use the same one, dust it off and then to put the dark brown on. And kind of go over the top of it. And it just kind of blends it with um, the shadows you've already done. So it makes it look a little bit thicker, a little bit smokier. Gives you a bit of depth as well, you know. Right, so now we have done that. We're going to stick on a lash and I'm going to reuse some lashes. This is what Abby used on me in the little blue transformation makeup video. And I just love these. These are Prima Lash Lashes um, in the style Lavish. <laughs> they're there. Right, I'm going to glue my lashes with my Eldora lash adhesive. It's very loved as you can tell. It just it just happens. The one I have at work is even worse. Um, but I'm going to put the glue on, leave them for about five or so minutes to get tacky and then I'll show you how I put them on myself because I know a lot of people have said they struggle with it. Um, and I'll show you two ways that you can do it. Hopefully it'll make it a little bit easier for you. So whilst my lashes are drying and getting tacky, I'm just going to put some bronzer and powder on. I use MAC Dark Tan. Um, you can use this as bronzer, you can use it as a transition shade for eyeshadow. Some people, some people use it as liner, like it's very versatile so it's a good little product to have in your bag. We always have it at the studio and it's great for most people. So I am just going to tap this on, kind of a little bit high up. Um, this is a little trick I learnt from Abby. If you do it a little bit higher at an angle, it will give you those cheekbones and kind of lifts your face up a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of blend this in. Kind of start by tapping it. I don't like to go too far in. But give myself a little cheekbone. And then do the exact same to the other side. I'm looking in this mirror and it's super battery and not working. Right, so I'm going to go in with some blush. MAC Fairly Precious. A little fluffy brush, dab that on and then onto my cheek and I kind of like to mix if I've got any harsh lines from the bronzer I kind of correct those that's on and then I'm going to get a little bit of highlight there has been a death in the family for my highlight I use a Becca champagne pop and I've dropped it like I just drop everything I've got to be very careful, very very careful. Just dab what precious bits I've got. I can you can fix this with alcohol. I'm just gonna little those kind of zigzaggy motions on my cheekbone. And I got my filter um, dip my nose, bridge, and just go over the top of that round one again, kind of make it come in. Basically, the rule to highlighter is that there's never enough. So if you think you have enough on, put more. <laughs> like if you've seen that meme where it's like. Guys, I know what to call makeup. He's like, you look like a, a cute little glazed donut. And I'm striving for someone to tell me the same. Just striving to look like a cute glazed donut every day of my life. Everything I do is on my own face is something I wouldn't do on a client. So I usually, not very hygienic for people, but this goes on my own face. So I should be patient and I should have glued them earlier, but who's got the time? I have, I mean, Realistically, I have all the time for everything because I can't go outside. None of us can go outside. So anyway, if I wear nails, I use a tweezer just because it's a little bit easier to grip. 
Um, sometimes I use my fingers so I can get in, but I'm going to use a tweezer. But this is just one way to how I show you. Now the other, the other lash I do it with my hands. So literally just grip it in between like so. And then I'll kind of put my chin up a little bit and I'm looking in the mirror that's on the desk here. And then I'll get as close as, as, close as you need. And I will just pop that on a little bit of an angle. And then once I've plopped it on in the middle, I can then go to the outer corner and inner corner and just make sure they're on properly. And then you can, this is the advantage of doing it on yourself, you can really get into all the nooks and crannies of your face and really press things in. So I'm just gonna press my natural lashes to these and that will make sure that you don't have like any, do you know if you see people from, from the side, you see they've got like two rows of lashes. That will stop that because it kind of, the glue kind of traps it in. And yeah, do you know what, when I peel it off, nothing, my real lashes don't fall out, so it's all good. So that was putting on with tweezers, literally simple as that. Just kind of look up so you've got a, you can, you've got the field of vision and then just kind of plunk it on. And then once you've plunged it on in the middle, you can adjust the, both corners, inner and outer, to make sure they're on properly. And then because they were still kind of a little bit wet, I will adjust them again, just kind of push in and making sure they're all right. But it feels correct, my face feels right. So with the other one, um, I find it helpful. This has already been on my eye, obviously, because I wore it in the other video. To kind of give it a little wiggle to make it more of a semi-circle, so it's more molded to your eye shape, so you'll find it easier. Because some, like if you get lashes and multi-packs, they're just straight like this. And putting it on your eye is a lot harder, so I would always have had to give it a little wiggle. Obviously it's already been pre-cut, so I would cut only from the outer corner, not the inner corner, if you had to do that. This is a good thing about reusing lashes, it's not only is it good because you're saving yourself money and you're not buying things that you don't need, but you can just reuse the lashes each time, and I love these. So as long as you take good care of them, peel the glue off at the end, then you should be good to go for probably like five or so. I probably get three or four, I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm the worst, I'm like preaching all of this, what you can do to take care of, and I never do any of it myself, so, but this is what you can take, if I was a good person, <laughs> I would follow my own advice, I'm kind of, I hold it with the outer corner really, because I am right handed, and this is the left side of my face, so it's easier rather than going across my nose, which blocks things, again, the same kind of look, looking up, looking, so your chin up, and then you're looking down at the mirror, and you just plunk it on, just as you would with tweezers, and once you've got it on, you can then adjust. You can tell that I find it easier to do tweezers. If you, I think this is the, the, the full trick to put on, on lashes on yourself is this little press and push your own lashes together with this strip lash, and then you won't find it flapping off at any corner as long as you put enough glue on, and obviously it molds the shape of your eye. You can't really go wrong. So that's my top trick. So I do have lip fillers, so I do have bigger lips. I haven't had them filled in about a year though, so to me they feel small, but I, you're probably watching this going, what? I would never get my lips as big as yours. Um, okay, that's, that's a huge problem. <laughs> this is how I like it. I, I would look bigger, so I'm gonna um, overdraw them a little bit. So I start my uh, lower lip, and I just kind of go underneath that I have, just a little bit, and then I go, up enough just kind of onto my actual lip. You can um, colour in your whole lip, that will make your lip last longer. With my new favourite at the minute, it is Honey Love. I love it so much, and I'm just gonna fill in a lip, and now we're gonna put some gloss on, and then we're done. My favourite one at the minute is this NYX one, which is called Brunch Drunk, and it's a filler instinct one, so it gives you a little bit of a swelling effect. I just, I used to never wear glossy lips and now I do it and I just never look back. They just make everything look so much better. I told you this is going to be a challenge. This might not be my best work but I wanted us to struggle together so we can bond over this. I hope you feel that we're bonding and sharing a moment. I'm gonna do my fringe, just probably straighten my hair. Put the magic object on which is some hoop earrings. You can't go wrong if you're wearing hoops. Like you really can't. I don't have my heart ones, which I do like at the minute. I've just got my regular big old hoops, and they make me feel like I'm really going out. Then I'm gonna put on a nice outfit to go just stunt on them in the living room. So as you guys will see, I am done. 
obviously just straightened my hair because I'm too lazy for anything else. And my sister is a full two sizes smaller than me, but I'm still pinching her tops. And that's okay because I live here now, so this is technically mine. Um, but yeah, this is my generic, like if I'm going out, this is roughly the sort of makeup I'll have. Earrings, uh, clothes might be slightly different, but that's generally what I'll do. You can obviously make it, i to find the best light in here. You can make it more dressed up or more dressed down. Yeah, it's been hard guys. <laughs> this is my challenge. I don't take crazy amount of care with my makeup, but I hope you enjoyed watching it. It was, oh, I don't know what I've done. Abby's going to edit this and be like, mm, yeah, sorry, we just have a lot of of your cleavage. And I'm so sorry that you had to see this. And like, I got a bit flustered because my face is a different color to my body. Um, stay tuned for more. I'll probably be doing a few more videos at home in this sort of similar sort of setup. Um, but yeah, I hope, I hope it was educational for you all. Um, I think as I keep doing it, I'm going to get better at it. It's just, I think you just have to get used to things. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please um, leave us a comment in the box below. Let us know what you want to see more of, less of, any other ideas, any feedback, whatever. Or just, just tell me you like my face. That's fine too. Um, but hit the subscribe button and press the bell to get notified when we post videos, usually every Monday or so. That is me signing off. Hope you enjoyed. Because I'm not under supervision filming this video, I've been like ambling off, like looking at my phone, chilling. Like, can you imagine if this was just my channel on my own and I had to edit this? I would just give up. So, thank Jesus for Abby and Nathan for doing all the work. I will do what I. I bet they're gonna. <laughs> I bet they're gonna watch this and be like, unusable, unusable. You could just put them in, in the bloopers. Unusable. Banished. Oh. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.